Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your sex and romance reading for the first half of July. Please take note this is general, so it may or may not resonate. Take what does. Private readings, everything's down below. All right, let's see what message we have for you. Tauruses, getting to know each other. Ooh la la. I think Aries also got that too. I think it was Aries. And passion. Ooh, okay, I see you guys. All right, it says, getting to know each other. As you reveal your inner, innermost selves to each other, you your bond deepens. Okay, it's kind of like that friendship thing where you start getting to know what you like, what you don't like. Okay, and then the passion card. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, do not block out any certain emotions or anything because that would only block your love and your goals in love. Taurus. Taurus in love. Ask for help from others. If you want to know more about the specific person, ask their friends, ask those that, that hang around with them. Like, hey, help me out, man, or help me up, help me out, girl. Like, how do I do this? Or what do I do? Should I ask them this? You know, are they into that? Do you think they'll like this? You know, shit like that. <laughs> opportunity. You guys have an opportunity for great passion here. Okay. And it could be, some of you, maybe a year from now. <laughs> maybe. That's background energy. I wasn't even going to pull that, but I just just did it. All right. What's going on with my Taurus? If you're the type of person that doesn't know how to really approach women or men, you know, you got your homies there to help you out. <laughs> Three of Pentacles reverse, really missing that touch of a person, missing that, um, yeah, just really missing that passion with someone. You're lacking it. Maybe you haven't been with someone intimately in a while. The Knave of Swords reversed. Man, this looks a lot, I think it was my Aries reading. This look, looks a lot like the Aries one. Neva Swords Reverse. It's like really, you really need to work on keeping your thoughts to yourself in a way because that could ruin certain things, you know? Like if you're a naughty person or whatever and the other person's not like that, maybe you just need to tame the beast a little bit. Um, really do not put your business out there. People don't like that shit. So this is t pretty much telling you to keep other people's business or keep your business... Uh, private and not let anybody interfere with it okay don't put your shit out there on blast or on social media keep it low-key first get to know each other okay and you'll have an opportunity for a passionate relationship you just have to uh, really know how to work your angles here some of you could need help in communicating properly <laughs> Ace of Swords. Okay. Communication coming in. Communication coming in, but don't go blabbing your mouth. You know, keep your business to yourself. Keep it low key. This is someone probably telling you, or them, you, whatever, vice versa. Could be a near side too, or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, about how, how they had a crush on you and they want to be with you or whatever. And, you see them as someone very attractive and you really want to get into their pants. <laughs> someone wants to get in someone's panties. This could also mean that someone's daydreaming about, about you. Or them, you, you know. Or you, them. Sorry. Yeah, the king, uh, king con. <laughs> the king of wands here. So this is like someone very passionate and aggressive in bed. Okay, you're... With this here next to it, the Seven of Pentacles reversed, it's like you're missing, you're missing that. You really want to rip somebody's 
bend somebody over and show them who the boss is. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's like you really know how to... If you're male, you really have a huge penis. He even has a fucking crown on his penis. Like, people tell you you're really good in bed. Okay, and you know it. <laughs> you're showing people who who's boss here. Maybe you're really good in bed and you just don't know how to communicate. Like I said, you're someone really dirty and nasty. That's what people probably like about you. And they're spreading rumors saying, oh man, this person has a big one and... People are probably daydreaming about it or whatever. Don't get all big-headed either if you're male. <laughs> or someone could just be talking about how good you are in bed and shit. So to their friends or whatever. You could also be having an affair with a married woman too. What? The emperor. Yeah. You could... Be dealing with the fire sign. Aries the old Sagittarius too. I know fire signs are very, very passionate. Okay. So the emperor really talks about. It's the sign of Aries obviously. Like I said this looked a lot like the Aries video. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, this talks about someone really owning their shit. Knowing how to run their business. Um, the main person. The king obviously. Um, the main, you like to be the main, people go to you as being the main, or you like to be the main woman or man. Um, they really think that you're really good looking, passionate, loving, you, you're really bomb in bed, obviously. I still can't believe there's a fucking crown on the dick, it's so hilarious. <laughs> that shit cracks me up. This is someone who knows how to run their empire, you know? Knows how to keep the passion going and hot. Knows what women want, too. The temperance. Oh, yeah, you see? I'm definitely seeing married woman. I don't know why. Maybe because this one has, like, she's, like, wearing that white veil or whatever. You could be having an affair with a, a, a married woman or you're going to turn someone into your wife <laughs> I don't know or husband whatever but temperance is really talking about someone that you see that's very attractive who knows how to take care of themselves their beauty is there they're beautiful inside and out and it's like damn you really want to put a ring on it someone might want to put a ring on it and you will get that opportunity maybe hello mm-hmm but you're first getting to know each other before it, anything and, um, yeah, let me pull a lover's oracle card here. So far, so good, Taurus. Dang. It says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay. One more for Taurus, please. One more for Taurus. Okay, they wanted me to give you two more. <laughs> surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. That's also talking about releasing the past, you see? Mm-hmm. Yes, boo-boo. And then the other card is, Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is a, as deep as the ocean. Oof. Damn. Okay. Okay. So there you go, Taurus. This is your sex and love reading for the first half of July. Please let me know in the comments below if it resonated, if you thought it was cool. Um, love to hear from you guys. And um, I will see you in your next reading. Love you. Bye.